The political winds of change are blowing in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Former Vice President Jean-Pierre Bemba has returned to the Central African nation to register as a presidential candidate in December's long-delayed but much-anticipated election, a decade after his arrest in Belgium led to a trial at the International Criminal Court in The Hague. As Bemba arrived on Wednesday in Kinshasa by a private jet, members of his opposition movement for the liberation of Congo Party warmly greeted him on the airport tarmac. Police presence in the area was high. Appeals judges with the ICC in June overturned Bemba's convictions for murder, rape and pillaging committed by his forces in neighboring Central African Republic in 2002 and 2003. He had been sentenced in 2016 to 18 years in prison but maintained his innocence. Bemba is still awaiting a final sentencing at the ICC in another case in which he was convicted of interfering with witnesses. For more on Jean Pierre Bemba's return to Congo, VOA's Roger Muntu joins us by phone from Kinshasa. Good evening, Roger. Can you fill us in on the latest? Yes, Esther. Uh, supporters of the former rebel leader and vice president have uh, gathered since very early this morning in the street of the capital, Kinshasa. Several people were waiting for him uh, this morning at the Njili Airport. Police, as you say, uh, Esther, used tear gas to uh, used tear gas to try to disperse the crowd that uh, came to welcome Jean-Pierre Mbemba from Jili Airport, where he landed. According, Esther, to some uh, Congolese political expert, his arrival triggers a new and intense phase of political maneuvering and instability in the country. Now, Roger, we mentioned the tear gas from your vantage point. What did you witness? Well, according to the people that we found there, because where we arrived, that's when the tear gas was thing was happening. When we arrived there, we, we, uh, we found the police and we asked the people who were around that they, they told us that the police had asked uh, the vehicles in the area to accelerate the speed to move quickly, uh, um, to move the speed of the procession. But the population refused. People wanted to welcome uh, Jean-Pierre Bemba. People wanted to touch him. People wanted to talk with him. But it's only at that moment when they refused that the police officer uh, landed to uh, lynch chair guys. Now, Roger, did he address the media? Now, he did not, uh, Esther, he did not get a chance to address the media again because of the, the crowd, because of everything that was happening there. Uh, he did not address it, at least well, from where we were, we did not see him at least talking to the media. But we asked his close staff, and, and they told us that they actually planning on having a press conference very soon. And um, uh, as I said also, as you said earlier, Bimba has a strong support base in the DRC, and experts believe, uh, Esther, that his return could shake Congolese uh, politics. Now, Roger, uh, when you talk to uh, analysts there and uh, even Bemba's people, is he talking about his next move in terms of organizing his political base before the December election? Now, what we know, uh, uh, first of all, as is that the former world lord is expected to uh, run in the presidential election, uh, and his return will mobilize, of course, the opposition to President Joseph Kabila, who has been in power since the assassination of uh, his father in uh, 2001. Um, so according to those experts, when we talk to them, uh, according to them, Bemba is trying to work with the other uh, member of opposition, uh, um, you know, Moise Katumbi and all the other group of the opposition, to work with them so they can, you know, fight, uh, go against uh, uh, the uh, uh, government, go, go, you know, block and become one so they can be stronger, much stronger. According to those political experts, that's what they think that's going to happen. Now, Roger, since Bemba's arrival, have you heard anything from uh, President Kabila's camp about Bemba's return? We have not heard uh, anything specifically, but mo the, 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 the Congolese government has uh, publicly said that Mbemba is welcome to return to the DRC. It's his country. He's welcome to come. And, and, and uh, we also saw that there was a presence of uh, the police, and the police were there uh, not to, you know, uh, to really create any issues, but to protect Mbemba as well, to make sure that everybody was and arrive here safe. 
so that, uh, from what we know, is that the government has welcomed and said he can come back to his country and uh, legally. And so, so far, that's what we've heard. Mm -hmm. We are still waiting for other press conferences that maybe the government or the, the spokesperson of the government will uh, speak up. Roger, thank you so much. VOA's Roger Munto reporting from Kinshasa.